Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I wanted to share one of my favorite people from Torchbearers, the Scholars of Islam. And this is a class that I took almost uh, seven or eight years ago. And that is uh, the man who is the supreme holder of the, of the title, Al-Hafidh. When Al-Hafidh is just mentioned in its absolute form, there's only one man who deserves that title, and that is Al-Hafidh ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. When we studied him in Torchbearers, and you, you've probably heard his name from you know, works of Hadith or his explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari, which is the, the greatest explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari. But when you study his life, you see that it wasn't all you know, roses. He had difficulty. He had certain gifts that Allah Azza gave him. Absolutely a sharp memory, wealthy parents. He was able to spend a lot in the path of Allah Azza wa and, and seek knowledge from lots and lots of teachers. Over 55 of his teachers mentioned uh, are women and much more of the men. But Ibn Hajar radiallahu anhu was tested by many things. He was tested by, he was tested by death in his family members. He was tested by envy of other scholars. When you excel in such dramatic fashion, such historical fashion, you're going to have people who want your downfall. And Ibn Hajar was not immune to that. He also had people who, uh, governments that went astray or that he didn't, uh, that uh, he, he fell out of favor from. And so Ibn Hajar radiallahu anhu, he did live in difficulty as well. And he was tested with the knowledge that he had. Nonetheless, he was able to, he was able to live with grace. He was able to live with dignity, sincerity, worship, and create such a beautiful legacy for everyone who would come after him. And really learning about him made me appreciate the genius of the man and it gave even more credibility to the science of hadith when we were able to study the masters of that science and the people who presented that legacy to us. Come to Torchbearers, I guarantee inshallah ta'ala you're going to fall in love with one if not more of the scholars of Islam.